I am currently at the SDU airport uh, departure area. This is a uh, Uber drop-off area. Thank you. <laughs> then uh, let me show you the way to check in. It's a little bit dark right over here. A little bit weird, but uh, it don't feel like in a uh, airport though. So I have to go this way. So this video is shared with you that the flight experience with GOL from the Rio to Sao Paulo. Uh, on the uh, SDU airport and uh, this airport looks like a shopping mall though it's, it's quite nice I can see that airport is over there L1 when I arrived to this uh, airport I don't feel like this is such a sh beautiful shopping mall so yeah let's go to uh, check in first so here it is the airport is right over here so now what I need to do is see I need to uh, find a GOL counter and I'm going to show you how the way to check in because I take the LATAM, LATAM. Uh, the way to check in is a little bit different so let's find a GOL counter GOL will be at B area and uh, let's go further down I see the official counter is here and then uh, let's see too bad uh, from uh, Rio to Sao Paulo they don't have the premium cabin so no premium video for you I guess uh, this is where we're going to do is uh, you use this uh, self check-in counter to uh, get the boarding pass and also the baggage tag just key in your booking number then you can uh, check in Key in your mal your nationality, Malaysia. Passport. Next. It's a little bit annoying though. It's like uh, a lot of thing to key in. After key in your passport, <laughs> that's a lot of thing to key in, <laughs> and your date of birth. <sighs> So there is a mileage thing. I do have KLM, but I'm going to give you a skip. It's just only one hour thing. Okay, my phone number. No, can I put next? Oh. Then uh, you also can provide an emergency contact number, but I will just put no. It's a lot of thing to key in. Uh, this there's one up to free of charge. Same. Okay. So there's one uh, free of charge. Continue. Continue. Oh. I selected English earlier and then it turn to Portuguese in a bit so it's a little bit oh and I almost reached to the <laughs> package uh, limit just nice for me so only one after so 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 many things uh, it will ask me to please visit counter for oh my god after that you go to the baggage counter to drop your baggage it is a bit challenging and uh, stressful to do the check-in because that the staff they are a little bit rude on their face but actually they are okay they are very nice they just like not in the mood to do their work so uh, they will ask you a lot of questions because the mind is un uh, unsuccessful to print out my uh, baggage bag all these things so uh, I have to go to the counter like the stuff like a little bit not happy but actually she smiled a little bit after we uh, got our ticket so uh, yeah let's go to uh, see whether I can get any food before I go to the uh, inside the transit area now at the level one there are some food option right over here there's the McDonald's um, there are Starbucks right at the check-in counter area then come to level one the departure area is on the right side so let me walk around and see whether I can grab some quick bite at the bottom part there is uh, Starbucks and then uh, just above the Starbucks uh, that will be the McDonald's right over there and then you can buy some souvenir right over there 
and then this is where you to go into the terminal. Actually, after clear the security screening, there is a duty free counter I mean section. Then uh, here is the FMP area and the boarding gate. This airport is very very cold. Our flight is depart in uh, one hour. Then the gate now then show out that which gate we're supposed to go. So uh, if you're coming to this airport, make sure you bring a jacket along with you. It is very cold. There is a gate at uh, 9 to 14. It's uh, go by the bus. So we have to go to the gate 10. So it's gonna be a mess now. I can see that uh, there are line up for group 1 to 2 but uh, I'm at group 3 I didn't see any yet so maybe it's just right over here I'm uh, on my seat already 31A and it's a Boeing 737 MAX nope it's not MAX it's the 800 sorry so the next one why is quite cool there's a 2 USB port right over there there will be have the Wi-Fi online. You can uh, stream the movie to watch. I'm not sure what it is for. It's very interesting. Something new to me. Maybe for you to put your phone here. Then uh, safety card right over here. The tray table. Oh, there's a very nice uh, cup holder over here. Then you can push forward to you. So that is all about the seat. Let me try the recline. Oh, the recline is very nice. And then uh, the headrest is like quite nice to good, give a good adjust for the head support. On this seat, I only see one seat back at the middle. So make sure you grab the seat back if you are not feeling well. Here is a washroom. You can have a rabbit uh, mirror on you. And then uh, there's a diaper change right over here. It's very cute diaper change counter. And press to flush very tiny uh, toilet over here the trash bin yep. but it's a very cute way to have a seat, uh, toilet in these directions I just log on the Wi-Fi there is a free message uh, service and then I can go for the entertainment all this uh, when you when once you tap in you can choose the language so English or Portuguese or a few more then uh, to have uh, internet is a uh, 25 right then uh, free entertainment is quite nice there are quite a few movies TV shows youtubers kids and family section all this I think is very very uh, comprehensive other than the movie there also a live TV so you tap here and live TV and uh, I'm not sure what is this a fantastic goal one hour and 30 minute lap I'm not sure what is that about then uh, the con it mm, yeah I think that is all about I am uh, very happy that to have to see the what you call uh, a lot of movie options and also the temperature weather on the destination which is uh, Sao Paulo and this is a uh, live stay, uh, plane status so yeah this is the uh, Wi-Fi service let me show you the very cute uh, interior I think this is a local favorite cartoon because uh, the parents keep showing the kids about this uh, cartoon thing I think not too bad and if you can see from the winglet the winglet there is also a rabbit seat on the winglet as well arrive safe to the airport and uh, just a slightly delay we are now at terminal 2 we are going to claim the baggage and then show you the baggage claim area and then share with you the flight review at the domestic area at the, at the terminal 2 there is a duty free I'm not sure whether those uh, domestic flight passengers are allowed to buy or maybe you can just uh, buy and pay some of the tax 
So it's a long walk to the baggage claim area. Very long walk. You will come up from this escalator coming down and then there's a very tiny uh, screen to show you where is your baggage belt will be right over here. So do not go to the wrong screen to show you the departure time. Just got the baggage and uh, this uh, flight experience is not really that pleasant because uh, for the boarding gate it did not show till really last minute. Then uh, the crew is not really that friendly. Maybe it's a very tiring job for them at uh, the late evening flight. And uh, for the announcement is barely speak. English. So most of the announcements are made by uh, Portuguese. So it might be uh, troublesome if you need something important to know. Then uh, going to Terminal 2, the toilet is very dirty. So hopefully uh, this video is helpful for you to make the booking to uh, fly with GOL. Bye bye.